Zombies in Spaceland is the first Infinite Warfare Zombies map. Here's five things it did right. Spaceland has a variety of period accurate songs that consistently play over the loudspeakers of the theme park. It sucks that I can't play any of these songs in my videos because of copyright, but it does a lot to make the map feel real. A number of the arcade machines in the theme park are actually playable, and you're rewarded for playing them with tickets you can spend around the map. It adds another optional layer of depth that makes the map feel even more real. Another thing that makes the map feel realistic is that all of the traps are part of the theme park itself. And as a bonus, seeing zombies die after being run over by a bumper card or things like that help define the map's comical tone. Spaceland has the perfect blend of simplicity and depth. You can have a great time by unlocking Pack-a-Punch and nothing else, or craft all four wonder weapons to complete the easter egg without either playstyle being forced on the player. Spaceland has a great layout, the overall structure is simple, yet there are numerous ways to reach your destination that give the player freedom of choice in their movement. 